So, welcome back to DJX Chronicles. Um, as a new development, I'm trying to quit drinking Dr. Pepper. If uh, you've watched any of my videos, I'm sure you've seen me take a sip of a Dr. Pepper. But I'm finally trying to lay it to rest. I've been having one a day for the last several days. And it's miserable. But anyway, today I'm doing another short poem by Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. He's an excellent poet, I believe. And um, this poem's, um, it's got a, like, it's got a code, basically. If you can make out the name of the person that he's talking about by looking between the lines. He supposedly has a message written between the lines. But anyway, it is called A Valentine. Again, written by Edgar Allan Poe and published in 1850, it says here. It's on uh, Poe Stories' website. Here we go. For her, this rhyme is pen, whose luminous eyes, brightly expressive as the twins of Lake, she'll find her own sweet name, that nestling lies upon the page. Enwrapped from every reader, search narrowly the lines. They hold a treasure divine, a talisman, an amulet, that must be worn at heart. Search well the measure, the words, the syllables. Do not forget the trivialest point, or you may lose your labor. And yet there is in this no Gordian knot which one may not undo without a saber. If one could merely comprehend the plot. In written upon the leaf, where now are peering eyes, scintillating soul, there lie Purdue, three eloquent words, oft uttered in the hearing of poets by poets, as the name is a poet's too. Its letters, although naturally lying, like the knight Pinto, Mendez Ferdinando, still form a synonym for truth. Cease trying. You will not read the riddle, though you do the best you can do. Hey! I think he's bluffing. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and uh, please like and subscribe and stuff. I hope you enjoy the shorter videos, because I'm feeling a bit lazy, to be fair. Um, I just got off work and everything, but see you next time.